We've talked before on the show about the late Key West folk artist Mario Sanchez. Now his exhibit, A Fisherman's Dream, has finally debuted in NYC at the South Street Seaport Museum. It was postponed due to Hurricane Sandy, but it is up now and will be on display until March of this year. Now the woman who made this happen is joining me today. Nance, it's wonderful having <laughs> you back on the show. Jenna, thank you so much, but it wasn't just me. Well, you it had was, a lot to do with it. Well, huh? I did. Mm -hmm. I was the project specialist. But there were many wonderful people from Key West who lent their pieces, mm -hmm. including Fran Ford, who everybody knows and loves, and Ed Knight, mm -hmm. and so many, and the museum, of course, mm -hmm. the, the uh, Key West Art and Historical Society. Well, I know you are so ecstatic about this finally debuting in New York. How was the opening? Oh, the opening was just <laughs> incredible. There were 850 people, and Mayor Bloomberg came, which was awesome. fantastic. Mm -hmm. And you know, Jenna, this was the very first exhibit for a Floridian in a museum in New York City. How great is that? It's great. It's major. <laughs> now tell me all about the exhibit, Nance. I mean, we have photos mm -hmm. behind us of mm -hmm. the exhibit this morning, but... Well, the exhibit was curated by the Museum of the City of New York, mm -hmm. the American Folk Art Museum, and the South Street Seaport Museum. And they chose a theme, which I thought was really perfect for the venue, because the South Street Seaport is all about boats and fish and fishermen and their lives. Mm -hmm. So most of the exhibit was about fish and fishermen. So there was a fisherman's cafe, mm -hmm. and there was St. Mary's Star of the Sea, which was the fisherman's church. Mm -hmm. And there were so many beautiful fish in the exhibit, did so many kind people. Mm -hmm. Did you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite there, I should say? Oh, boy, there's so <laughs> many fabulous pieces. There are 41 pieces on exhibit. And the theme is so interesting because there were even pieces that I had never seen before that I had borrowed from people who I haven't even met in person. Mm -hmm. Now, Nance, you were there for the opening. What was the response of everyone around you? Oh, it was fantastic. The opening was just oohs and ahs, and people were so excited. From the curatorial staff to the janitors, everybody <laughs> loved it, and the public mm -hmm. was gaga. We did two programs. One with um, myself and the curator emerita of the American Folk Art Museum, the person who wrote the encyclopedia mm -hmm. on folk art, and it was really well received. And then Wayne Garcia came and de demonstrated traditional Key West folk art technique and got a resounding round of applause from the audience. How neat. Yes. Yeah. Now, That's great. what are you working on next? Do you have another well, exhibit? Yes, <laughs> yes. With the... Uh, um, with the Key West Art and Historical Society mm -hmm. and the National Gallery in Havana. We're planning on a museum to museum exchange next year. It's called One Race, the Human Race. A selection of Mario Sanchez's works will go to the Bellas Artes, the National Gallery in Havana. Mm -hmm. And then we will have the top artists from Cuba coming here to show at um, not only the museum, but various other places around the city as well. Oh, this is going to be yeah. spectacular too, Nance. Yes. When do you expect it to happen? Um, the, the two participating museums are having openings in Havana mm -hmm. on January 17th, 2014, and hopefully by then we will have direct flights, mm -hmm. and then the Cuban part of that will be January 31st mm -hmm. here in Key West and it will be in various and sundry places and there will be tours available mm -hmm. through the Arts Council, the Monroe County, the Florida Keys Council of the Arts, mm -hmm. and the museum. Great. Legal tours. Okay. Yes. Great. So we have a lot to look forward to and we of course do. if you are in New York anytime before March of this year, please mm -hmm. check out Mario's exhibit, A yes. Fisherman's Dream. You won't want mm -hmm. to miss out on seeing all of these powerful, powerful paintings. Yes. Nance, thank, thank you. you so much for being back on the show. Thank you, Jenna. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for tuning in this morning and starting your day off with me. I hope you can join me again tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then back at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.